and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. First plane carrying advanced American ammunition arrives in Israel, says Army. U.S. ammunition is in preparation for additional scenarios. Army says. Israel announced the arrival on Tuesday of the first transport plane carrying advanced American ammunition. In a statement, the Israeli military said, a first plane carrying American ammunition had landed in Israel after the US said it would send new supplies of air defenses, munitions and other security assistance to its ally to battle Palestinian Hamas militants, the Jerusalem Post reported. The army said, the ammunition is designed to inflict significant blows, adding it is in preparation for additional scenarios. The Israeli army expressed its gratitude, for the American backing and assistance to the Israeli Defense Forces in particular and to the State of Israel in general, during this challenging period. U.S. to send weapons and warships to support Israel. The moves were designed by the Biden administration to reassure Israelis of the United States' commitment, despite months of tension between Mr. Biden and Israel's Prime Minister. The Pentagon announced on Sunday that it was sending additional munitions to Israel and moving Navy warships closer to the country in a show of support, a day after Palestinian militants launched one of the broadest invasions on Israeli territory in 50 years. Defense Secretary Lloyd J. Austin III said he had ordered the aircraft carrier Gerald R. Ford and five guided missile cruisers and destroyers, which are already in the Mediterranean Sea, to the eastern part of the sea, near Israel. Officials said the ships were en route but would take a few days to arrive. Mr. Austin also said the United States was increasing the number of Air Force fighter jets and attack planes in the region to bolster regional deterrence efforts. The assistance underscores the United States' ironclad support for the Israel Defense Forces and the Israeli people, Mr. Austin said in a statement. Mr. Austin's announcement came as President Biden assured Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel in a call Sunday morning that military assistance was on its way and more would follow. The promise of military might was designed by the Biden administration to reassure Israelis of the United States' commitment to their security and to demonstrate resolve to Hamas and Israel's other adversaries in the region. It comes despite months of tension between Mr. Biden and Mr. Netanyahu over disagreements about the Prime Minister's pursuit of judicial reforms that many Israelis say are undemocratic. Pentagon officials said the deployment of additional forces was meant to deter Iran, Syria and any country or militant group from joining the conflict, as well as to provide enough ships, warplanes and other weaponry to protect Americans and American interests in the region. General Michael E. Carrilla, the head of the military's Central Command, said in a statement on Sunday that his force stands firmly with our Israeli and regional partners to address the risks of any party seeking to expand the conflict. A senior Biden administration official said that the United States did not have intelligence that Iran was directly involved in planning the assault on Israel. But the official, who requested anonymity to discuss diplomatic and military planning, said Iran had long been deeply connected to Hamas, offering it financial support and military equipment. Secretary of State Antony J. Blinken said on NBC's Meet the Press program on Sunday morning that the Israeli government had asked for some specific additional assistance, as the country gears up for what Mr. Netanyahu has warned will be a prolonged conflict. Mr. Austin said the Biden administration would supply the Israeli armed forces with additional equipment and resources, including munitions. U.S. officials declined to be more specific about particular weapon systems, but independent analysts said Israel would likely request more interceptors for its Iron Dome missile defense system as well as bombs and missiles for attack planes. American officials said on Sunday that they were also working through plans to evacuate thousands of Americans from Israel if necessary in what is called a non-combatant evacuation. Pentagon officials emphasize that no decisions have been made but that they were working through options, including one that involves putting some Americans on the Navy ships to get them to safety. The United States already provides Israel more than $3 billion in military assistance every year, and Mr. Blinken said that much of the equipment from that funding is already in the pipeline to be sent to Israel. The Pentagon also has positioned stockpiles of arms and ammunition worth about $2 billion at about six sites throughout Israel. 
The stockpiles provide weapons and ammunition for the Pentagon to use in Middle East conflicts, and the United States has also allowed Israel access to the supplies in emergencies. Use of the stockpiles is set up in a dual-key arrangement in which both countries sign off on their use. Officials said the United States took only 155mm artillery shells from the Israel stockpiles for use in Ukraine, which military analysts say Israel would not use in its fight against Hamas. If the fighting in the Middle East widens, the amount of supplies in the stockpiles could become an issue, analysts said. Officials for the National Security Council declined to say whether the use of those stockpiles was under consideration. But Pentagon officials said on Sunday that discussions were underway to allow Israel to use them. In the longer term, American lawmakers on both sides of the aisle said Sunday that they hoped Republicans could resolve their leadership struggle and select a House Speaker so that Congress can act on further funding for Israel if needed. US military presence near Israel is a blunt message to Iran and Hezbollah, officials say. Lebanon-based Hezbollah has not yet fully taken up arms against Israel in the wake of the Hamas attack in the south. The US warships and fighter jets deploying near Israel this week in support of Israel are also intended to send an explicit message to Iran, according to current and former senior US officials. That message, one of the officials said, is, stand down, specifically when it comes to any consideration by Tehran of unleashing the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah. This is all about deterring Iran, the official said. The Biden administration is sending the ships of the Navy's USS Gerald Ford carrier strike group to the eastern Mediterranean Sea, and officials plan for the foreseeable future to keep in place some F-16 and A-10 fighter jets that had been scheduled to rotate out of the region, a US official said. The timing of deploying additional F-15s that were scheduled to arrive in about a month has been moved up, the official said. And though the US moved a squadron of F-35s out of the Middle East last week without a plan to replace them, another squadron will move there in the coming days. In all, as many as two dozen advanced fighter jets are expected to arrive in the region in the coming days. The official said that, represents significant air-to-air -air and air-to-ground capability to deter any Iranian aggression or expansion of ops, which is shorthand for operations. The ships and the aircraft are all directly supporting Israel and deterring Iran and any other expansion, the official said. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.